Two fights in two weeks at Hopkins High School has led to parents and administrators working together trying to bring safety back to school. The latest brawl happened last week. Some staff members were injured while helping break up a fight between four students. WCCO's Rich Chapman has more on the plan to ensure a healthy learning environment. Administrators say the fight took place around the same time students planned to sit in to protest the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict and what they call injustices in the judicial system. It's believed the fight was not related to the protest. When you have those fights and the disruption, it, it shakes everything up. Parent Kevin White is among a group of parents concerned about safety and restoring a focus on learning inside Hopkins High School. As parents, we, we've seen way too many stories around the country of somebody getting angry for whatever reason, feeling bullied, whatever the case, and they come back with a firearm or something and it escalates into a, a, real, tra a real tragedy. Parents we spoke would say the district is listening and has a plan to stop the violence. They've communicated clearly, clearly to us as parents that they uh, have put together plans on how they're going to um, move forward. They're calling it a reset. A letter to parents says if students are roaming hallways or are five minutes late for class, they'll be escorted to the auditorium where they have social workers, counselors, um, other teachers, um, and they'll have a discussion with the student to figure out what's going on, try to figure out how to help them. Expectations were laid out, encouraging one another to get reinvolved with their kids at school. At the end of the day, you know, we have to work together to give these kids a a calm, safe place to go to school. Rich Chapman, WCCL 4 News. Hopkins School administrators say yesterday's reset was a good day. There were no fights or problems inside or outside of school.